So I just got taken hitchhiking by a Belgian guy. And he was selling beers, you know, and make people taste it. Wow, and he gave me a lot of beers, and he, d he didn't even want to stop, you know, after four, and now I've got enough, I can't carry it, you know. These are like 10%, 9%. <clears throat> Flemish guy, oh, I like Belgium. Not a lot of nice people, really. I'm so tired of France, really, that's, yeah. France is a nice country, they leave you alone, people are friendly, but, there's, you know, there's, there's a lot of talking, you know. I'm back at the pyramids, three pyramids. I was here before, eh? Wow, the Texaco thing here. So here's a nice bear. You know, so you see the phoenix, just like on the picture. Grim, it means, yeah, you know, like grim. It's from 1128. You see, they've got the, the Swiss cross or the Templars cross on it, you see? It's, uh, it's triple, so it's 9% alcohol. Which is um, quite pleasant, actually. <laughs> uh, yeah, and it, uh, it's 1128, which is in the middle of the Crusades, which ended in 1291 when they founded Switzerland. And there are the monks is called the uh, le pré montré. That means to montrer. It means to show, and pré it before. So they showed it before, and they are all dressed in white. You know, like the Cistercians. Hey, you see? And they were founded in Long, where I filmed the Templars Commandery for you, which is octagonal in the north of France. You just have to put a, a red cross on it. Here you got these ones here. Let's see. Templars Cross, Switch Cross, the Phoenix rising out of the fire. No, it's not a normal bird. No. So, well, cheers to you all then, huh? That was a really nice bit. I had another, a couple of, of others today, you know. And with the holy water, you know, you, you just see some things. You see, the, um, the phoenix, he rose from the fire. So what does that mean? Yeah, I'll give you a, a hint. Look at the... Yeah, oh, look at the Swiss cross, eh? So who rose from the fire? In 1314, the French king, Philip the Fair, he, he burned uh, a lot of Templars, Templars like uh, Jacques de Molay, the last Grandmaster. But this, it's not the last one, they still have another. A lot of other Grandmasters. Hitler, he probably was one of them. And um, so, uh, they burned them at the stakes in Paris, you know. Um, so this means the phoenix, the bird, he rose out of the fire. Yes, it's all a reference to the Templars. And how was he able to rise from the fire? Well, because they all went to Switzerland only 16 years before, in 1291. I, I, I probably find the numbers here. And you see this here, behind it, you know, it, so, it shows a square, you see? In the square, like in the square and compass, and there's the round circle around it for the compass, which, because you can draw a circle with the compass. Because so behind the phoenix, which uh, represents the, um, I'm sorry, I'm a bit slow. <laughs> well, it re represents the Knights Templars who rose from the fire. They didn't get burned like 20 or 30 in Paris. And behind it are the Freemasons. It shows the square and the compass behind it. Yeah, so you get it. <clears throat> so it's really, and it's it shows here. It says the Grim, the Grim Bagon. It's it's a uh, the brewery and the abbey is north of Brussels. It's it's a Belgian beer. Yeah. And the grim, it means like grim, you know, like, um, you know, like serious stuff, eh? And bag, it means a mountain. Well, there are no mountains in Belgium. Well, maybe a little bit in the, in the Ardennes, but not really. Mountains is a bit illé. So the grim mountains, it's a reference, you know, that where this animal rose from, where did he rise from, eh? Switzerland! They are the grim mountains, you know. 
just like um, Simon de Montfort, it means Mont in the mountains, far strong, the strong mountains. And he did a, a terrible crusade in France against the Cathars. So it's all a reference to Switzerland, the Grim Mountains. Switzerland is the Grim Mountains, where they were able to rise again and make this system what we have today, 1129. So what do you get if you, oh no, you don't. It's all triple, you know, the concept of three. Templars, it's a Templar beer. And um, I didn't even see it, you know, until I had a couple of bottles of this, of the holy water. And I saw it, yeah, sometimes it helps, eh? Okay, Templars, we know who you are now, we're getting after you, eh? Oh, well, here it says Grimbergen, yeah. That's where the beer comes from, yeah, Grimbergen. Mm. Well, there are no mountains in Belgium. This is next to Brussels. There are no mountains. It's all a reference to the Swiss. So that's a Grimbergen, and that's my Bergen. Are there mountains in England? Probably not either. But this is Diana. You know, these birds are not normal birds. Is the uh, the phoenix? Look at the head, you know, and all that. It's also on that bottle. Uh, so try to remember the. Um, uh, it's it's better in the evening actually. Oh, God, yeah, I showed the same bird, you know, on a ball. So this is Diana, look at her face, it's like the Statue of Liberty, it's a man, you know? It's all this transgender, you know, gender benders. And this deer, you know? looking back, I already showed that in the, uh, the reptilian castle, the Templar's castle, with the statue. Okay. So this one here is from Indonesia, apparently from Bali, and it also shows the deer. It's all over the world, you know, it's the same thing. It's Isis, you know, here's the deer. Like Diana. It's all over the world, so it's all pharaonic. It's all the same. So I'm here in a place called the Axel. You see with a crown and a lion, a Templar, Templar's V, you know. What do you think this is? A lion, eh? In another way. Here's a pyramid, the all-seeing eye. Uh, same old story, eh? Look at this. Sun Yoriglyph two times. There it is. Here it is too. Look at that. I saw it there too. There's a jeweler's shop, you know, with the inverse pyramid and in red. There are three times here, the blue, red, and well, this time black. It says uh, Mar Ri. Ri is the sun. Mer or Mer. This time, in this case, Ma. It's the uh, it's a pyramid. Yeah. Yeah, it looks like a temple, you know. What do you think this represents in this homo country? Right? So. so here's some products here. Yeah, you can see the castle. The chocolate is coming from out of the castle, with three pyramids and three elephants behind it. So that means the aristocracy coming out of the pharaohs. Here you see the oval with a crown, it's a sugar. Here is the uh, a sausage with a, a viking ship on it. Or a pharaonic ship because they are the same, exactly the same. It's not that, you know, they say the vikings, they were so intelligent making these fantastic ships. It's all from pharaoh. Here you got three pyramids, this is salt. It's called trident, it's everywhere everywhere. This one here, I already showed it to you. Everybody here likes this beer. Yeah, look, I was just over, I'm here in, in the Netherlands in a uh, <clears throat> in some shithole. It's a shithole country, really. You know, all these phallic symbols and so it says here, I, I can't understand language, uh, but anyway, it's, it's, uh, I think it says purple here. The whole thing is purple. And they call it Gay Friday. So their daughter, they came, she came home with this here. Here's the um, the website. So you can look it up. I know, Xanet work. 
and L. It has a uh, <coughs> the seal of Solomon, a pharaoh, a Jewish pharaoh, but not really Jewish. I don't know what this is. It says the love. It's all about love. Okay, and then they said you have to be very loveful today. It's all about love. Well, the Dutch army is killing innocent people in Afghanistan, you know, and using depleted uranium. But okay, it's all about love, you know, because you just kill some Muslim children, you know, who cares, yeah? But it's um, <clears throat> in this homo country here. So it starts in school, and it is today. It is on a Friday, the 14th of December. So they can't even get the number right, you know, and the color isn't right. It's almost pink, but it is purple. So the whole story, you know, they just can't get it right. Not even the number and the color. <clears throat> maybe that's what they mean. They maybe did it on purpose, you know. Well, they couldn't even wait. They probably couldn't wait anymore. Like, you know, probably had to wait for another 10 years to have a Friday the 13th. And so, well, oh, yeah, it's... it's it's the end of time anyway. Let's get it over with. Come on, let's do it now. It's Friday the 14th. Well, what the heck, you know? And then maybe some of the children will say, well, it's not pink. It should be pink, you know? Like, oh, what a shithole country this is. I won't believe it. I'm not going to stay very long, eh? What a shithole country. Eh, disgusting. Hello? Pharaoh? Hello, mate. Look at this, man. There's a real nasty neighborhood. Look at that. It's like being on a New York airport. Look at that, man. That's what I call a nasty neighborhood. Like all the kings and queens.